Hi, I'm Martin Heaton, the owner of Heaton Products. You can find us at heatonproducts.co.uk. So what is prefabricated steel reinforcement? Well, it's basically steel reinforcement that is supplied to site already made up in cages for easy installation. We make a large range of standard cages, all in different sizes and configurations. Um, these are three meters and six meters in length. The next part of the video is we're going to be explaining a few different things on how to join the cages together with loose bar, why and how we use these spacers, and I'm going to show you a bit about this corrugated beam form as well. So these are these plastic spacers that we use to ensure that the, the cage stays within the concrete and not at the edge of the concrete. This is a 40 or 50 mil cover. It's 40 or 50 because it depends on um, which way around you use it. This here has been set up for 50 mil cover. So you just apply them to the, the bottom and the sides and they just clip on simply like this. This is corrugated beam form here. Um, we recommend using this because it reduces the amount of concrete that can be wasted when um, the concrete pour actually happens. We'll supply this cut and scored to size. Okay, so we've got our two one and a half meter long cages that we've just butted up together. We then need to join these cages together. And for that, because these are 16 mil main bars in the cage, we join them together with the same. This is a 16 mil splice bar. We've already started tying these together with tying wire. There's still one left to do, so I'm just gonna show you now how we tie it. Okay, so we've cut quite a long length of tying wire. So we fold this in half. And then we go round these two bars twice. And then around these two bars twice. And then we join them together in the middle here. We start twisting. But that's not quite tight enough. So we need to use the nips. Use that bar as a bit of a lever so you can just get a bit more, a bit more tension on there. A bit more of a twist. And then you just cut it near. And that's done. Okay, so here we have a corner section. You'll see that we haven't push this right into the corner. The way we're going to do this is that we're going to have the, the corner like that and we're going to create this corner of reinforcement with eight L bars and to do that we're going to use an L bar here, 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 here and exactly the same here, here, and that'll be your eight bar. Okay, so we've almost completed this corner with the L bar. So we've used the seven L bars so far. Um, there's just one more L bar to use. I'm not gonna tie it in, but I'm just gonna show you um, where we locate this, and then we'll just tie this in afterwards. So just slot that through there. And that'll go in that position there and that's a solid corner ready for pouring concrete. Okay, so this is the T section that we've already done. So this is your one cage butted up against here. So then we've just used four L bars, which we have then just tied in, and that's formed a solid joint for your T section. Thanks for watching. So if you have any inquiries, whether they're standard cages or you have some schedules, um, we even do loose cut events as well. Send your schedules over to us. The email address is sales at heatonproducts.co.uk or check out our website heatonproducts.co.uk.